DevOps is short for development to operations. It focuses on a collaboration between developers and other roles. Developers typically work in isolation. They can't do this anymore. We need to work in conjunction with the operations people and the QA people. We need to find out how to develop an application from start to end, from the inception all the way through to production and production support. It's about thinking about how things are going to work in the future when we're in the very beginning stages of the operations. And the, also, the great importance is on automating the process. We don't want to do things manual anymore. We want everything to be fast, totally automated and reliable. Now I will take over from Phil and we'll move to our next topic. Now let's understand Agile and see how Agile led to the development of DevOps. In the late 1990s, several methodologies began to gain increasing public attention, each having a different combination of old and new ideas. These methodologies emphasized close collaboration between the development team and business stakeholders, frequent delivery of business value, tight self-organizing teams, and smarter ways to craft, confirm, and deliver code. Agile software development is an umbrella term for a set of methods and practices based on the values and principles expressed in the Agile Manifesto. Solutions evolve through collaboration between self-organizing cross-functional teams utilizing the appropriate practices for their context. Here you have a diagram of Scrum software development framework for Agile where the product owner starts with product backlog. The development team and the product owners scope the sprint backlog from it during a sprint planning meeting. The development team works on the sprint backlog items and the longest duration as per Agile that you can have for a sprint cycle is four weeks. And at the end of these four weeks, you need to be able to deliver a potentially shippable increment. What is the meaning of potentially shippable increment? Well, in easiest terms, the deliverable should be complete and should have the quality that if needed, you should be able to deploy it in a production environment. Well, that is a lot of work. You need to complete the coding, complete unit testing, complete integration testing, do integration testing, create a software build, deploy the build, do smoke or sanity testing and create a package for final deployment, eventually deploy it on a test or staging environment. Also maybe run a couple of performance tests, create and configure a deployment environment and complete the entire software setup that, that you will need on that. Only after completing these tasks, if all goes well, you will have a potentially shippable increment that can then be deployed in production and it will not break anything and it will work itself and function as it's supposed to be. How do you achieve all of this in four weeks? Where do all the tasks leave you with the time to write the code? This is where DevOps comes into play. Further extends what Agile says to have business and development work together. With the DevOps, development and operations work closely and collaborate more. Some of the principles of Agile Manifesto that led to a DevOps environment are the highest priority being to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Also delivering working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with preference to the shorter time scale. The business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. DevOps extends this to where development and operations works together daily throughout the project. DevOps not only talks about collaboration between development and operations, but improved collaboration between all teams of your project, including the business. DevOps also promotes a lot of automation to complete the so many tasks and steps that go into making a deliverable potentially shippable. Tools to replace non-human steps like build creation, environment setup, trigger test cases, automated deployments multiple times a day. Here you see a software development cycle from code check-in all the way to deployment in production. 
You can see how with DevOps automation and tooling, you can include so many different tools for different steps of an SDLC cycle. These tools let you automate the previously done manual steps. With automated tools, you can do multiple builds in a day, run test cases as many number of times after a build gets created, and integrate continuous quality control into your delivery cycle without much manual intervention. You can also include environment setup and configuration and final deployment with the use of these automated tools and softwares. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.